Hi, my name is Dr. Vikas Kohli and I'm going to talk about a unique condition and its unique treatment. Why do I say unique is because many doctors, even in the field of cardiology or some in the field of pediatric cardiology also may not know about this treatment. So this is the story of a little baby who's born and uh, things look okay, but within few hours or a day or so, the baby has a sudden episode where oxygen level goes down. An echocardiogram is done and an echo shows that the baby's uh, one valve is missing or is not present. This condition is called pulmonary atresia. That means the pulmonary valve, that is the valve between the heart and the lungs is not there, which means the blood cannot go from heart to the lungs. If the blood can't go, baby can't get oxygen. So how is the baby surviving? There is an extra tube called PDA. This tube maintains the blood flow into the lungs. This tube is there in all of us when we are born and in the first few days of life it starts to close and that is when this baby's oxygen level will drop, the one with the pulmonary atresia. And the standard treatment which has been there till about 10 years back was to do an emergency surgery called BT shunt and that surgery will help the baby get better. And this BT shunt surgery in a baby carries a risk of up to 10%. Majority surgeries go well, but occasionally babies do get stuck. Stay can be longer, BT shunt surgeries are not easy to do. Not every surgeon can do a perfect BT shunt. In smaller size babies, BT shunt is more difficult to do. So, about 15 years back, this treatment came up that we don't need to do BT shunt at all. What do we do then? We put a stent inside the PDA. So, what I do, and I have done several of these children, I get IV line access into the left arm, and from there, I put a wire which goes straight and crosses the PDA, over that, I take a stent and I balloon inflate the stent. The stent holds the PDA open. I remove the wire and the balloon out, remove the IV line out. Baby recovers over 48 hours. And if the baby is taking feeds, is ready to go home in 48, 72 hours. Or if the baby is small, the baby is ready to go home in a bit more of time till when the baby can take feeds. Now, what is the advantage of this? you have avoided a major surgery with a risk of at least 10 to 15 percent, which is replaced by a procedure which is non-surgical and has, carries a 1 to 2 percent risk of life. So, this is advantageous to the baby, it is advantageous to the family, to the doctor, recovery is very fast, it's instantaneous response. If the next surgery was needed at six months, that surgery would still be required and can be planned appropriately. How many babies we have done this? We've done this in a huge number of babies. What is the smallest baby we have done this in? 1.3 kilos, 1.5 kilos, 1.8 kilos, 2 kilos and above several babies. What is the response we have? We have excellent response of PDA stenting in these babies and they have done well. Suppose the baby is very small, not ready at six months for the next surgery and the PDA is getting smaller, that means the stent doesn't grow, baby grows and the, the oxygen level is dropping. We go inside, put another stent there, open it up completely and that way we can get and buy more time and avoid many surgeries. This is what we have done in several. If you know somebody who's stuck like this, if you know somebody who needs an emergency and this is usually an emergency treatment, an emergency BT shunt has a very low level of oxygen, is on a medicine called prostin to keep the PDA open. The treatment is PDA stenting. The treatment is not BT shunt. We can take care of it. Many doctors are still not doing PDA stenting. We have very good response and very good treatment with PDA stenting itself. You can help save a baby's life in a non-surgical way. If you know of somebody and you send them to the right doctors. Thank you very much for your attention.